Hey there, Adam here today. I wanna to do something a little bit different. I wanted to show you how I move notes from my tablet. This is a Remarkable 2 tablet. And I wanna show you how I move these quickly and almost seamlessly directly into my Obsidian Vault. I, you know, one of the things that sort of happens when you read books is you have to, if you're doing it in a paperback, you have to highlight, underline, whatever, and then you have to copy and paste, or well, I guess not copy and paste, transcribe. The section that you want to save directly into uh, Obsidian uh, if you have like a literature sort of page set up for that book, which tends to be, you know, the way you want to do it if you're reading something not just for fun, but to get something out of it and to store it sort of in your long-term uh, memory, or in this case, your second brain. So I'm going to use Obsidian. Uh, these are EPUB files. So I'm going to use this book I've I finished recently. It's called The $100 Million Offer. Offer. It's by Alex Ramosi. It is a marketing book. Uh, this is going to take me to the last page I was on, which you'll see has highlights, it has annotations. I You can sort of see it through the glare. So, you know, I, I have finished this book, and now let's just say I've already done it, but I'm going to use it as an example. Uh, I want to move this into Obsidian, off of my tablet into Obsidian. I want to move just the specific pages I found most important. So what I did while I was reading the book is I, there's this tag button here, I tagged the pages as important if I wanted to later move those into Obsidian. So what I can do is I go into grid view, and then I can click on the important button, and you're going to see it's a short list of pages that I found important. I can then select all of them. Okay. And then I will, up at the top, there's a send button. Send it to my email address. Hopefully, there we go, and hit send. And then you'll give it a second, and it may take it a minute because there's it's more than one page, and the processor is fine, but not super speed by any means. I give it a minute, and it'll at the, eventually at the bottom it'll say it was sent. But I'm just going to go ahead and go to my computer and show you what it looks like when it arrives in my email. Okay, so now you, I'm in my email. And this is how it comes to me from my Remarkable document. And then it's right here as an attachment. You're gonna see it is only a couple pages. So it's, I wanna say 11 pages. And you see the highlights, you see my annotations. All right, so this is the document and only the pages I wanted. So these are the key pages that I wanna save in my Obsidian for later reference. I just download it and I will save it. And then I will go into my documents. And well, let's let's go into Obsidian first. I've already got a full page, but I'll show you just what it looks like to drag it in. So this is 100 million offer book. Uh, and then I'll show you the completed page here in a second. But I just wanted to show the drag and drop. So you're going to go into wherever you saved your document, which I assume is in my downloads. There it is. So I'm going to click. Drag, and there it is. So now it is saved into your uh, Obsidian Vault file, and you can download it again if you, because I have mine in Dropbox, you download it again in the future if you wanted to. I, but let me show you what my completed page looks like. So this is my actual page for this book. You can see this is my sort of key takeaway so I saved it as its own little page so I can copy and paste. That's sort of the key takeaway of the whole book. Here's my excerpts. And then a couple other notes and graphs I to go along with the book. And you see that I have some metadata for the name of the author, name of the book. And this is so I can use my data view to pull my books I and have a nice big list of them. I'm also doing a bracket in front of the title for right now, but I'll probably pull that out at some point. I'm not really using that feature because the data view with the tags actually works quite well. So that's uh, sort of all there is to it, to the process. You know, it's an EPUB file. The Remarkable is a, a nice little e-reader. The only downside of it is it's an EPUB version, and you can't have any uh, digital rights management built into it. So it has to be a clean file with no DRM. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, so that's just one sort of thing to keep in mind. It's a huge pain to convert files from uh, Kindle. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, some Kindle files have DRM, some, some don't. 
I, but if you can get a clean EPUB file of your book, this works perfect. I makes it so you don't have to do a bunch of unnecessary scribbling in the margins. You can just take take your notes as you go, import it directly. Absolutely no recopying of anything, uh, which is just a huge waste of time. Anybody knows that, and you know everybody knows that. I uh, transcribing data, transcribing information is what we're attempting to avoid here. We want it saved one time, and then we want to move on with our lives. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if more people want videos on how I use my uh, my tablet, let me know. I use it pretty much every day. It's a fantastic device. I And if anybody wants to see more about how I use my tablet in conjunction with Obsidian, let me know that as well. All right, thanks. Bye.